most part, the bonds market has been stable. Um, we've been seeing numbers of maybe like two billion a day on good days. So the number is slightly less, maybe one billion or so, and mainly because um, funds and insurance companies have uh, taken their interest back into equities because those offer higher returns at this particular time. But we are bound to continue seeing activity in the bonds market just because it remains such a viable option. Mm -hmm. yes. 2009 uh, was referred to as a year for the bonds market, but reports say yields on short-term uh, government securities have been on a downward trend at least since the end of 2009. How's the quarter one been uh, for short-term securities and what's your, what's your outlook for long-term securities based on that? Okay, um, for the first quarter of 2010, we've actually seen quite a bullish run on the long-term papers. I think this is because they've offered better coupon and better yields just because you know the yields tend to go with the tenor. So short term papers have been um, traded like the last primary those are a two year as well, but less, a bit less than the, than the long term papers. For 2010 we've just seen much more interest in long term papers. Okay. Uh, automation of government bonds, uh, that was uh, quite a step in the right direction according to analysts in terms of uh, deepening the bonds market. And corporates are set to join uh, that platform in less than two months. What is the immediate mm -hmm. likely impact uh, of that? I think, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing because um, there's so much paperwork involved when it's manual. And it slows down, it slows down the process, it slows down the turnover. And just seeing the way the bonds market has transformed with the incoming of ATS, we are bound to see a lot more activity with corporate bonds because right now it's only Kenjin that's on ATS. But if those other ones, Barclays and all that can be um, automated as well, we are bound to see a lot of activity there. How about um, the general East African community? There's been an issue, uh, you know, one of the central focal points um, as we speak is integration of those markets, but the bond markets operate, uh, you know, very differently if you compare it to the equity markets. What's being done to strengthen that? Um, okay, basically, the better we work together as a community, the better for, for each and every one of us. Like right now, with some particular um, banks, we're already being able to do foreign trades so that even if I'm operating from the Nairobi Stock Exchange, I can take orders from whatever, South Africa, from Uganda, and people are investing in T-bills in Rwanda just because, for example, they give better rates. Mm -hmm. So we are bound to see much more integration. I think the market itself is integrating, so it's just a matter of putting um, better rules and regulations, but there's already demand for rates from different places, investments from different countries all the time. Let's look at interest rates, and this is something that has been on the news quite a bit lately. Um, economists say the growth for the remaining part of this year hinges on low um, interest. Are we likely to see uh, commercial banks continue to lower their rates, and what's the likely impact uh, going forward? Um, yeah, like, okay, if you want to look at it from the direction of the bonds market, um, ever since I would probably say November of last year, interest rates have been coming down consistently. From January, we've seen the same trend. And as long as, as this remains uh, to be the case with the CBR rates coming down, the rates, the rates are bound to, to keep coming down because there's just so much liquidity in the market. So I would say that's going to be the trend for the rest of the year, at least for a large part of the rest of the year. Okay, going forward, your outlook for the bonds market in 2010, uh, the correlation usually is, you know, when the equities perform very well, the investors seem to be, you know, heading in that direction. And that seems to be the trend, um, if just looking at quarter one only. So what are your prospects for 2010 for the bonds market? Um, okay, as I already mentioned, just with the coming of ATS, we have got a lot more interest in bonds than I would say previously. We have uh, first-time investors asking us how to invest in bonds. So it's not just the banks that are moving things. You have small-time people, you have insurance companies looking into the secondary market, whereas they were not looking at that before. Mm -hmm. So I think that there's enough market demand to sustain that market. Yes, we're going to see that we've seen the equities market come up and it will likely continue to come up, but the bonds market is sustainable and it will be sustained. And the type of volumes we are, we are seeing right now are bound to, to be maintained. Slight dips here and there, as I said, like when fund managers or insurance companies choose to go into equities, but for the most part, it will be vibrant. Uh, the, the political situation now, we are approaching a referendum. Do you think um, the equities will pose as a better investment? Possibly for people who want quick, quick returns for the speculative type of investor, because unfortunately or fortunately, Kenyans tend to want a quick, a quick buck. So for people looking in and out, they're less likely to invest in bonds because that takes some time and the interest rate and the market or if you want to hold to maturity. So yes, you might have, just the same way it happened with Safaricom, you have people interested and in going in in large numbers to invest, mm -hmm. but just not staying in for the long term. Okay. So yes. Thanks, Irene. We've got to end it.